Hey there, F-Stoppers, and welcome to another episode of the post-production tutorials. I'm sure we have all seen a trend towards reviving the retro look of film, such as cross-processing and other traditional creative film techniques. With apps like Hipstamatic or Vignette being so popular on our phones, it makes it relatively easy for anyone to produce some pretty cool snapshots. I've put together a tutorial mini-series on how to get that hipster look to your photographs using Photoshop. We will do everything from creating a faux cross-process look to adding light leaks, flares, and even scratches and coffee stains to grunge things up a bit. Let's begin with creating an overall color palette for our photograph. These type of effects work best with a properly exposed photograph that exhibits a normal contrast and presents a wide range of tones from highlight to shadow. But feel free to experiment with any kind of photograph you like. Simply add a curves adjustment layer over your normal layer. Curves is one of the most powerful tools in Photoshop and can be used for a wide variety of things, from contrast adjustment to color correction, and of course for more creative things like this. Within the Curves dialog, there is a pull-down menu for the RGB channels. We will be adjusting each RGB channel independently. Starting with the red channel, you can simply use the pointing hand tool, officially known as the On Image Adjustment tool, which should be selected by default, and simply click and drag directly on the photograph. In this instance, I am selecting the model's face because skin usually has a good amount of red in it. Once I am happy with the way it looks, I can move on to either the blue or the green channel. For me, there is no right or wrong way to do this. It is all up to you and your personal preference. Once I have arrived at my desired color palette, I go back to the combined RGB channels and do one last global curve adjustment to taste. From here, I can also tweak the saturation of the colors through a hue saturation adjustment layer. You can either manually select which channel you would like to adjust or use the similar on image adjustment tool in order to select colors directly on the image. Again, the result should be totally up to your own personal preference. It's your world. You can make it whatever color you want. I kind of feel like Bob Ross saying that right now. I think we'll stop there for this episode. In the next installation, we will create some light leaks to transform your expensive DSLR into a cheap plastic toy camera. Feel free to practice and experiment with adjusting colors using the Curves dialog. I'm sure you will discover something new that will be very useful for your work. As you get more accustomed to using Curves, you will find it less daunting and intimidating to use. 
Thanks for watching, and if you like these tutorials, be sure to subscribe to the F Stoppers PPT YouTube channel by visiting youtube.com forward slash user forward slash F Stoppers PPT. As always, you can find me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and keep up with me on my blog. I also teach workshops, and you can check upcoming events on preptopost.com. Thanks again, and stay tuned for the next F Stoppers post production tutorial.